So latitude and longitude. So this is a system of kind of coordinates which allows us to, to find out where we are or where things are on the Earth. Um, but this is a, a quick video to just explain some of the different formats which the data can be can be found and conversing between different uh, kind of conventions to avoid confusion. So just briefly, so latitude is the kind of like the the kind of the how far north or south you are, uh, and longitude is how far kind of around the Earth you are, um, and by convention. The latitude zero is on the equator, um, and longitude zero uh, goes through um, London, uh, so the Greenwich Observatory. Um, so the, the Earth in latitude is divided up um, into the, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So we have uh, 90 degrees north at the top and 90 degrees south at the bottom. Um, so we're divided up into 180 degrees of, of latitude. So these are just basically the angle uh, from basically the centre of the Earth out um, to uh, to the surface at any at any one point. So straight up at the poles, so that's 90 degrees. Straight out at the equator, uh, zero degrees. Okay. Um, so usually this is written 90 degrees north to 90 degrees south. Um, occasionally this might be written um, minus 90 to plus 90, uh, okay, so by convention north is positive and south is negative, okay, so this is one of the things you have to watch out for a little bit, especially when you're working in the southern hemisphere, that some of the the long, the latitude, sorry, should, should be in a negative number. Similarly, similarly for um, longitude, okay, so we start at zero in the middle, and in this case, if we go to the east, we increase to 90 degrees east, 180 degrees east as we move Across lines of, of, of longitude, which are these, these curved lines on this, this map, uh, and we increase it degrees west towards the west, so we go to 180 degrees west on the other side of the earth. So 180 degrees west and 180 degrees east are the same, so that's the, that's the same place basically. So there are the, the convention that uh, degrees east are considered positive, whereas degrees west are considered negative. And I guess the way I like to think about this is if we just had a, basically, if you just drew a, an x, y, so a y axis and an x axis graph on, on the Earth down the prime meridian through Greenwich and along the equator, if this was just an, uh, an x, y graph, uh, this would be the positive, positive quadrant, positive values of x, and negative value of x over this side. So that's the way I can often remember it. Just to uh, just to confuse things a little bit further, um, in addition to this kind of positive uh, longitude and negative longitude, some uh, kind of formats basically take uh, because the Earth is spherical, they carry on their positive um, degrees longitude east all the way around the other side of the Earth and carry on this side so on the in the Western Hemisphere. So these basically minus 90 or 90 degrees west is equivalent to 270 degrees positive, so 270 degrees east because you've gone all the way around the earth on the other side. So uh, just be aware of that so those kind of things may crop up in, in, in formats and data that you see. So uh, the traditional way of, of, of noting uh, these, uh, so we basically have the degrees, uh, so these are the big divisions uh, so the, the, these are divided up um, the latitude from, from minus 90 to plus 90 or 90 degrees south to 90 degrees north. But then there are finer divisions. So we divide up one degree into 60 minutes. Okay, so that's we have degrees, minutes, and each minute is divided up into 60 seconds. Okay, so this allows us to, um, to make a very, very kind of uh, fine divisions of, of, of location. Okay, so it's quite common to then have your uh, degrees uh, with a decimal point, and then you have some kind of decimal fraction of a of a of a second in terms of your notation at the end there. Um, quite common to put the north or the south or the east or the west on the end of those, just to avoid confusion as to whether things are positive or negative. So those are this is the this is the location of Edinburgh in the UK. Um, but annoyingly, uh, quite a lot of these, um, th 
these data can be found in different formats. So this is the traditional degrees, minutes, and then seconds. In this case, seconds are in decimal notation here. So this is one form. And the exact the same place can be written out in this additional format here, where instead of using seconds, we've, we've basically combined the seconds into the minutes column. So we've basically so 11 seconds, 11.7 seconds is 0.19 of a minute. Okay. Um, so this notation here is also quite common, particularly on navigational equipment, on ships and things like that. Um, but quite often, if you wanted to plot these data, it's quite hard to work with, with a number that's basically a, a text string with this degree symbol in here. So if you wanted to enter it as a, as a single value, we tend to convert it into just decimal degrees. Okay, So we basically combine this so you can see 50, 57 minutes, that's almost a whole uh, degree. So you can see that's reflected here in this decimal degree notation. So this can, this can be written in a number of different ways. This is the decimal degrees and then the direction. Okay, this is omitting the direction, but, but having a convention where we know that positive latitudes are north, negative latitudes are south, uh, positive um, uh, longitudes are um, west, sorry, are east, and negative are, are west. So this is why we've got this minus here. And again, we've got this other kind of odd data format where we actually wrap around the whole world. And so all of these, these, these numbers, these, these latitudes and longitudes are the same place in Edinburgh. So quickly, just to just a note on how to convert between the, the, the kind of the format. So if we started out with the degrees, minutes, and, and decimal seconds, the more traditional kind of thing, we'd, we'd basically take the 55, and then we'd add to that the, the, the degrees, um, sorry, the, 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 the minutes divided by 60, and we'd add to that the seconds, okay, divided by 3,600, which is 60 times 60. Um, and similarly for the the... the our degrees um, west here. Uh, we do exactly the same thing, except we just need to make sure that w once we've done that conversion, we multiply everything by minus one. Okay, just to, just to make sure that we get our our, um, our conventional direction right. And that th these mathematical transformations here lead to these numbers down here. Uh, slightly simpler case if you've got degrees and decimal minutes. Okay, you just take your degrees and your decimal minutes and divide your decimal minutes by 60 and add them to your number of degrees. And once again with the, the west longitude we need to, to have that convention to say that these are going to be negative uh, values. There. So hopefully this will point you in the right direction when you're converting between uh, these kind of more um, archaic say formats, I don't know archaic, but and these more kind of like easily usable formats for, for, for data, data investigation and processing and plotting and things like that. Okay. Goodbye.